Hello, welcome to the Harlingen Public Library. My name is Margaret. And I'm Naomi. So today we're gonna be doing our DIY jewelry, craft a bracelet and the earrings. So we will be needing today the elastic cord. This one is seven uh, millimeters. And then from there we're gonna be using our little blue beads. Um, we're going to need pearls, where I already have some in here. I don't know if you can see them. And then from there we're going to be using silver spacers. And these have a, some uh, little bling in them, oh, some diamond. Oh, pretty. Can you see them? Yeah, I can see them. They're really pretty. And then some small, small little glass. Uh, beads where it's going to be your little divider for oh, your little okay, charm. I, um, I picked the blue one just to match the, the blue beads. So from there we're going to be using for the earrings also it's two glass beads, two pearls, two spacers, and then hook earrings. Very easy to make. Okay, so it's awesome. I'm so excited. Let's get this started. <laughs> so Naomi, I already cut everything for you. Put your beads together. I I made this little placemat yeah, type so thing so everything won't roll up. What is this for? Is it's it just to hold uh, your your beads so then keep going. Yeah, <gasps> you just tape it down so that way your beads don't roll all over the place. I used to do jewelry making before. I uh -huh. never thought of doing that. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can tie a knot, but then you need the ending to tie the single knot to end it. That is awesome. I like your little tricks, Margaret. It <laughs> makes things easier when you're trying to make things. Yeah. Okay, so first we're gonna start with a small glass bead. The very small one? Mm -hmm. You can put two. This elastic is a little bit thicker. Yes. I like thicker ones because um, they're durable. Oh, and so okay. then you can stretch them put them on uh, easily. And I think it'll so, hold the weight of the yeah, glass. Yes. Okay, so from there we're gonna start doing the pearl. One pearl. <clears throat> Spacer. Okay. And then now pearl again. Spacer. And then blue stand out with this. Uh -huh. And then spacer at the end. And then you keep on going the same way. Do the same pattern. Mm -hmm. okay. The same pattern all the way around. Pearls, there's 15 of them. The blue beads, there's seven. The silver spacers, there's 22. And then the small glass beads, is just two. And then the charm is one. I picked that because it's perfect for your uh, wrist. If you want to add more because you want it dangly, add more beads to it. Okay, awesome. Maybe like one or two for each side. Okay. So all these, um, you can buy them or find them at your favorite craft store. Um, give them out as gifts. Um, Mother's Day is coming up also. Easter, whatever. These birthday. are the earrings you gave me. Yes, I made those for her. For her birthday? Mm -hmm. For my birthday. You don't have to add a charm if you don't want, but I, I like that little. Okay, and when do you stop to do the charm? That'll be at the very end. Oh, uh -huh. okay, so you don't have to worry no, about putting it right no. in the middle. Yeah. Okay, and I was wondering, I go, how many beads do I have to do it till I put it in? <laughs> Okay, so I've put them all on here already. Correct. So I'm gonna do your little trick. Right. Putting. Oh, do so I need this little spacer yes. right here? Yes. Because this is where your charm is gonna be at, and it's gonna be connected to those two little pearls or glass beads, I should say. Okay. And just take off the tape. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, and then there's no and no right way to put it because it's you were it's the way you dangle. Uh huh. You put that there, and then you grab this side. Right, and then you start tying it up. 
If you have uh, more on this side, just go ahead and scoot it over so that way you have equal amount of strain. <clears throat> and they should be moving. There you go. And then from there, you tie it. Okay. Hold on to them because uh, <laughs> they might fall. <laughs> and so now we're going to do another tie. And on that one, you're going to pull it a little bit tighter, not too much because they will break. <laughs> I usually do three knots. From there, you can cut the little ends, not too much, because they'll start to unravel. Just, just snip it. Right there. And you just completed your first bracelet. Get that. Perfect. I love it. Oh, no, it's perfect. Yeah, it fits you perfect. So it's not too tight. No, it's like perfect. I said, if it's if it's too tight, you're gonna have to redo it and add uh, two more beads. This was a good amount of yeah. size, and that's because I have a pretty big wrist. So there you go. Yes, yeah, nice. Okay, so we're done with our little bracelet. So now we're gonna be doing our earrings. So here we're gonna be using two pearls, two um, dividers, the the silver ones, and two blue beads and. Of course, our hook earrings. So this is the hook. That, this is like a, a needle okay. that you're gonna put your beads in. Okay. And you're gonna carry it like this because see that little, it stops the bead there. The first one we're gonna be putting is the little pearl. The little tiny one. Right. Oh, this is little. Hopefully it fits. Yeah, it fits. Okay, perfect. Okay, from there we're going to be putting the pearl, the big pearl. Okay, no space or no nothing. No, not yet. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I can see it coming So out now you put your spacer. Then you put your blue one, your blue bead. Okay. And then you put the little crystal bead in there, the last one. Oh, okay. So see how it's pretty long yes so we're gonna be cutting it these are my uh, wire cutters mm -hmm. I usually just uh, eyeball it to see how much do I need to cut uh, don't cut too much because then your little hook to attach it to your hook earring won't uh, attach you can't do it oh, it's okay. harder okay so maybe around right there I'm gonna cut it and just be careful because it's it'll snap. Okay. So these are my needle nose pliers. It won't cut. I'm just gonna bend it. So sort of making like a little O oh. or a U, really. Mm -hmm. So now my beads won't fall. So here's where your hook earrings come in. You're just gonna attach it to the earring. Okay, I see that. And so now you're gonna be bending it more to attach it to it, to this hook earring. And so just you're just gonna be bending it. Just to fit it uh -huh. in better. Yes. So then from there, you can squeeze it in. One. And it should be turned out oh, like this. Oh, that looks really nice. Super simple. So you wanna do the other one? Yes. And so you're just gonna follow how these are. Now you can add more beads to it if you want to put two more pearls. You can make it longer to dangle, but I like I like the way this looks. Is it pretty easy now? It's pretty easy. And it's <laughs> really pretty, and it's very um, it's a good stress reliever. Yeah, it I is. really think it is. Okay, so from there we're going to be cutting it. Can I see how much? Uh, that's a good size. So always point down so that way it won't pop up and hit somebody's eye. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do a little, like a little hook right there. You can just twist it. But if you make a mistake, you can just start all over again. There you go. So now you have a complete set of your bracelet and earrings for yourself or for a good friend. <laughs> I think they're so beautiful. 
Thank you so much for showing of me course. how to do this, Margaret. Of course. So that concludes our DIY craft. If you like this, give us a thumbs up, comment, share it, and let us know what you think. Thank, Thank you for spending your day with us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.